Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the longest increasing subsequence problem. Given an unsorted array of integers, find the length of the longest increasing subsequence. Example, this is the input and the output is 4. As you can see, the longest increasing subsequence is 237101. 237101 is one of the longest increasing subsequence, so the length is 4. So, how can we solve this problem? There are several ways to solve the problem. The brute force approach is to use a recursive solution, and the time complexity would be exponential, big O of 2 to the n. So we can improve that by using dynamic programming. We can use memoization and a top-down recursive solution, and we can improve the time complexity to big O n squared. But we can also avoid using recursion, and we can use iteration, and the time complexity will still be big O n square, and the space complexity will be big O of n. But we avoid the overhead of the recursive calls. So that's the approach we're going to use first, and then they ask you if, you, if we can improve the time complexity to big O n log n, and we can do that using binary search. So. With dynamic programming, what we do is that we use the previous computations to calculate the final result. So we reuse the calculations that we did before in order to avoid wasting time calculating again. So the main idea in this dynamic programming solution is that, for instance, if you are here, you can check all the values before this number and you can check the longest increasing subsequence up to every value. So for example, the longest increasing subsequence up to 7 is the length of that subsequence is 3. You can see 2, 3, 7, so the length is 3. So when I get to 18, because 18 is bigger than 7, I know that the longest increasing subsequence up to 18, to this position here, has to be the longest increasing subsequence or the length of that subsequence at this position plus one more number. So that's the main idea. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write this program. And the time complexity is big O n square. So first, I'm going to check if nums equals equals null or nums that length equals equals zero, then the length of the longest increasing subsequence is just 0, return 0. Then I need a, an array of integer dp gets a value of new array of integer of size nums.length. I'm going to initialize every value in this array to be 1 because we can assume that every element initially at every position is a longest increasing subsequence of length 1 or is an increasing subsequence of length 1. So I'm going to say arrays that fill dp with 1. Then as I said, I'm going to iterate through all the numbers from left to right. So, and I also need to have a variable to keep track of the final answer. So integer result gets a value of 0. So I iterate for integer i gets a value of 0. i is less than nums that length plus plus i. Then as I said, I'm going to check every element at position i. So for every element at position i, I will check all the positions before. So I will call this position j from 0 to i minus 1. So I will check all these elements that came before the element at position i. So for integer j, because if I lose 0, j is less than i plus plus j. And then, as I said, if the element at position j, for example this 7, is less than the element at position i, so if num sub j is less than num sub i, then what does that mean? It means that I have um, the longest increasing subsequence at position i um, can be the one that I had before at this position or the one at position j, the length of the longest increasing subsequence at position j plus 1. So I will do dp sub i gets the value of math.max 
of d p sub i or d p sub j plus one. And then every time after that, I just need to update my final variable. So I will say result gets the value of math that max of the previous the previous result I had or the previous longest increasing subsequence length or this or the one that I found just just now. So which one is bigger and update the final result. And by the end I just return the final result. So I'm going to run the code. It's running. Okay, it seems to work in fine. I'm going to submit the solution. Okay, so this is working perfectly. So as you can see, the time complexity is big of n squared and the space complexity is big of n. So how can we improve the time complexity to big O n log n? Well, what we can do is that we can use binary search and we can actually keep track of the longest increasing subsequence by finding the index where every element would be inserted and if the element is bigger than the last element in the dp array then we can append it to the end and um, if it is not bigger then we can actually put that element where it should be so the main approach is to use binary search and that's going to allow us to have big o n log n time complexity so i'm going to reset the code to show you the solution that is improved. So from big O n square, we can reduce the time required to big O n log n. First, I'm gonna have if nums equals equals null or nums that length equals equals zero returns zero. So I need a variable the length gets a value of zero. And then I will check every number and I also need actually um, an array of integer dp because if I have a new array of integer of size nums that length and then I will check every number for integer number in numbers so I will get the index where that number should be inserted if it is not there so integer index gets a value of arrays that binary search I will I will look for this number in the DP array from position 0 inclusive to position length inclusive and the number I'm looking for is the current number so if the number was not found in the DP array this method binary search is going to return um, the negative of the index minus 1 so to find the position where it would be inserted, I just have to make a positive and add one to it. So I will see. I will say if the index is less than zero, if the element was not found, then the index where this element should be inserted is is this index gets a value of minus the index plus one. Then I will put the element at a position in the DP array. So the piece of index gets a value of num and then if the index equals equals the length that I have so far that means that I appended the number at the end and because I appended I do plus plus the length because I, I found um, a longer increasing subsequence and then by the end I just return the length so I'm going to run the code. And I think the server is kind of slow today. 
because it's taking a while just to run the code. It seems to working fine. I'm gonna submit a solution. All right, this is working perfectly. So the time complexity is big O and log N. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.